What's going on, all you minties? Uncanny Omar here from Nearman Condition, the home of Collected Editions. And it is Sunday. What better day than today to do the Ice Cream Man Sunday Edition Volume 1 Overview? Let's get started. So it is finally here. Delay after delay. I think I've put this in my top 10 for the last couple of months. So, the delays aren't just affecting Marvel and DC. They're affecting Image, Dark Horse, Fanagraphics with Keeping 2. But, this is finally here. Ice Cream Man Sunday Edition Volume 1. It is a deluxe hardcover. So, it's identical to the dimensions of those other deluxe editions. Whether they have a dust jacket like Invincible here, or just art on board. And this does have art on board. So here we have the creators up at the top, Ice Cream Man logo, Sunday Edition Volume 1, the character of Ice Cream Man with the spider from the first issue. Here's what the spine looks like. You have Image, Ice Cream Man Sunday Edition, Prince, Morazzo, O'Halloran, and the ice cream down there. And this right here, I think this is from, oh, this is a really awesome story. This is from the Neapolitan story. Uh, the back of the book also features the price, which is $44.99 mature readers, and horror. The one thing that I want you all to take note is the book itself has a kind of like a shiny finish to it. It's not blue. From the solicits, I thought it was just a plain blue background. But no, it's, it's rather shiny. I'm not sure if the video can do it justice, even with the light right there. Um, the logo is embossed as well as... The character right there of ice cream man but it is art on board with a flat spine we'll look at the eye here in a little bit so let's go ahead and crack this book open if you don't know anything about this this was added in my i believe it was my hidden gems last year of horror books uh for in october every month i do hidden gems in case you didn't watch that video well here we are i could talk about it all over again and what makes this one of the greatest books to come out this year Let's get this open. I love the end paper right here. This is really nice because each issue has its own little design on them. So written by W. Maxwell Prince, Martin Morasso, Chris O'Halloran, good old Neon doing the lettering, and AWCO Studio doing the design. Ice Cream Man. And this collects the tw uh, first 12 issues of Ice Cream Man. The book is 404 pages long, and it kicks off here with these little dedications from the creators, a quote from George Sanders, and then chapter one. Now, on the opposite page of the chapter is the cover. It's a textless cover, but they do credit the artist and the colorist there. So... This is a really interesting series. Um, like I said, I mentioned it in my Hidden Gems from last year during the month of October. I think it was one of the better reads, and I was so excited to get this book. Each one of these issues are self-contained, and they all kind of center around horror stories or stories to teach you lessons. Kind of think of like uh, Tales from the Crypt or Haunt of Fear, the classic Vault of Horror, even The Hitchhiker. I love The Hitchhiker. That's why I always throw it in all my shows when I'm talking about anthologies. And they just happen to feature this Ice Cream Man. We don't really know what the Ice Cream Man is at first. And I'm going to let you find out. Because the more you get in here, the more his storyline gets complex. You think he might be a friend to the people that are getting picked on. A foe. A god. Some kind of demon. An alien. What the hell exactly is he? So, I'm going to talk about a few of the stories in here. For example, the first story right here is about a kid that has this pet spider. And he's had enough of his parents. And his spider just... Uh, pretty much poisoned his parents and killed them instantly. But then we throw in the ice cream man who might be in the woods and he might be this werewolf that the town is talking about. And at the end, you have these police that come in looking for the kid, looking for the spider. So that's the first story. You can find out how it ends. I mean, this doesn't really spoil anything. But then we go on to chapter two. So when I first read this, I had heard so many people talk about it. I read the first trade paperback. I had no idea that the stories were not connected. I mean, other than the fact that there's an ice cream man. Well, I want to say just about in every story, but he's not in every story. The second story here features two addicts that are just trying to get the next fix. 
and one of them is trying to get sober, the other one isn't, and pretty much horrible things happen to innocent people because of the drug use in this particular issue. Uh, the next story arc right here is one of my favorites. I love this story. This one's awesome. This is about a guy that it's the classic story of what could have been. He's sitting here daydreaming about how much of a rock star he could have been, how he wrote the ultimate song. And then he gets lured into this intergalactic battle where he has to play this song. And there are characters in here that you'll be familiar with. Here, let me get to this page. Like Eleanor Rigby, Ziggy, Stardust there, Rocky Raccoon, Major Tom, and Captain Jack. This story spoke to me. I love this. This is about you know, unfulfilled dreams and sitting around and daydreaming and it, and it all of this take place or did none of it take place and it was all just in his head and does that matter? The next story was about a friend burying his childhood friend and getting to know his father. Again, the ice cream man does appear throughout here. This by far is my favorite one. This is a freaking brilliant story right here. Holy crap. This is about a man who's committing suicide. So, I mean, there are things like that in here. It is rated mature content. Uh, there's the mistreatment of animals in here, too. But this is about a guy that's jumping from the top of the building to commit suicide. And it's like a confession. It's his final confession. He's jumping through here. It's called The Ballad of the Falling Man. And this really encapsulates just what this particular collection is what you are in store for every few floors he's confessing a sin that he had lovers that he was having an affair on his wife meanwhile the inside of the building there's some creepy things going on and in this one you don't really see the ice cream man but he is narrating and then somebody else steps in to narrate over him and he gets i mean this one is creepy i love this issue uh, we'll get to the Neapolitan one here in a second. But the person that interrupts the ice cream man is this character right here. He's a cowboy named Caleb. And the two of them are opposing forces. Of course, one wears white, one wears black. One has to be good, the other one has to be evil, right? I mean, it makes sense for a story like this. If we have... The devil, then there must be a god. If we have demons, there must be angels. If we have the good guys, we have to have bad guys. Maybe. I don't know. And that's why I love this book. Because there are answers in here the more you read it. Here, let's get to this one. Um, but you may be a little more confused after reading some of those answers. I love it. Now, I keep calling him the Ice Cream Man because I don't want to reveal whether his name is set throughout these issues or not you can find that out for yourself but this one right here is my second favorite and this is neapolitan it's about a guy this is all pretty much just a silent issue and he gets you know your neapolitan ice cream strawberry vanilla and chocolate as he's walking down the street the story splits into three different color schemes so you have strawberry vanilla and chocolate and each path he takes is a different path in life at one point, he meets this beautiful girl. She He drops his ice cream. He's not pissed off about that. He's all about this girl. In this other story, he finds a dog that's hurt, so he takes the dog in. And this one right here, it's a dark story about him. Uh, well, let's just say getting kidnapped. And each one of them ends differently. And I love the final phrase in this because it's something that you've come to expect in this particular book. But as you can see, the stories go a completely different path. Getting married, Netflix and chill up there, and then hanging out with a dog. And then this creepy story down here at the bottom, you can find out how that ends. There are sci-fi elements in here. There are definitely horror elements in here. There are spiritual things in here that are, well, I think that might be going into too much of a spoiler. But once you find out things between him and Caleb, you may want to go and google and this is the kind of stuff that i think most people would do i know i would have done the same thing except back in my day i would have looked up an encyclopedia instead of the internet so y'all are very lucky there's this internet out there but this is the type of artwork in here this is the type of creepiness that is all over the book it is just brilliantly done and i mean this is martin morasso and chris o'halloran who does the colors and they really do serve the story well. It's crisp 
and it's easy to follow, but it also has like this creeping aura about it. It's got a lot of weird images that will be embedded into your head. I love that because that is something that the writer uses to make sure that these stories stick. Damn well done. This is the chapter 10 right here. I do appreciate this one because about a fourth of the issue is all in Spanish. This takes place in 1919. It's about a young lady celebrating her birthday. It's also celebrating Dia de los Muertos. And it's all in Spanish. And it's actually pretty damn good Spanish. Honestly, this wasn't Google Translate that wrote this. Now, if you're wondering about the translation of these issues before she meets her lover who happens to speak English, and she likes the English language, uh, that is all in the back. There's a story back here about reality television and game shows. And again, the ice cream man playing a creepy role in most of these. And Caleb sometimes playing a role in these. But I'm not even going to talk about the final issue in here, issue number 12, because I'd love to know what your thoughts are if you read it, what your theories are about these characters in here. But let's look at, these are the variant covers, by the way. We saw the original covers right before the beginning of the issue. Now, I think one may say, okay, well, I mean, if there are no answers, do, does the writer, do the creators even have answers for us? Or are these going to be stories that are just there and it's kind of left to our, our interpretation? Because some people can't deal with those. And if I don't, I don't have, as far as these 12 issues, I don't really know if they know where they're going or not. I think if you read one particular issue here that focuses on these two opposing forces, you kind of get the idea of what they're trying to do. Because there is a larger context, and that larger context is affecting these characters, these towns, these infected people. And I like that. It's like gods playing with humans down here on Earth, almost. That's why I said, are they gods? Are they demons? Aliens? Angels? What exactly are they? And maybe, I don't know, sometimes I don't need answers. Because one of my things about horror movies is the fear of the unknown and i really hate it especially with american remakes of horror movies from overseas when they explain everything everything is just put on a platter for me and spoon fed i hate that i like a mystery i like this idea of well what the hell am i looking at what am i reading about what would it why is this guy messing with people so here are some of the sketch galleries the mature content in here, by the way, has it's it's basically violence is what it sticks to. Here's the script samples from different issues, not just issue number one. There is one story in here that you're gonna be asking, wait a minute, how is humanity not noticing these things are happening? Specific, it's the ambulance story, and when you read it, you'll know what I'm talking about. You know, it's just a mild complaint, though. I think. The positive things about this book and the series really outweigh those little negative things um, that I've been saying about not explaining everything. And, man, they do a lot of issue samples there. Here is... Okay, so they thank Sam for translating it. Our, pa our pal, Uncanny Omar, talked pretty one day. Sam Stone translated it to the Spanish. And like I said, it was really good. It was not Google Translate. I didn't think they used it. And here are some pages from there. Here's a look inside of the notebook pages for the ideas of Ice Cream Man for the issues in here. I believe this is the trait paperback cover and an early issue number one cover colors. And yes, this is what I was talking about, the pitter pattern. These are the patterns that you would find in each issue and then of course the pattern of the end paper there. This is an afterwards by the uh, writer and then the end page so let's take a look at this binding 404 pages and there's what the eye looks like for a wonderful reading experience if you're a fan of horror absolutely a hundred percent this one needs to be added on there see a werewolf what the hell is he exactly but that as they say is that if you're interested in purchasing this book don't forget to check out our sponsor, CheapGraphicNovels.com, your online home for graphic novels and collected editions up to 50% off cover price. 
They have excellent shipping and prompt and helpful service. Check out their bargain deals for up to 90% off cover price. And don't forget that CGN also takes pre-orders. That way you don't miss out on the hottest releases. And they are currently running a special promotion for you Minties. If you're a first time customer, after receiving your order confirmation email, reply back to that email and let them know Near Mint Condition sent you their way. They will then apply a free shipping promotional credit to your next order in the US. Cheap Graphic Novels, your source for the hottest books with the kind of deep discount, quality shipping, and customer service that will keep you coming back for more. And that was the content, the page count, and build of this deluxe edition. Let me know in the comments down below if you've read Ice Cream Man and single issues, trade paperbacks, and you're upgrading to the Sunday edition. If you want to see it all collected in this particular format, comments, questions down below. Don't forget to smash that like button, subscribe, ring that bell for notifications to let you know when our videos are going live. We are on Patreon and Spreadshop. Amazing ways to support the channel if you can do so. And more importantly, everyone stay healthy and safe out there. Much love.